So in order to create a directional rolling system inside of Unreal Engine 4 or Unreal Engine 5, you need a roll back, a roll front, a roll left, and a roll right montage. Once you have those montages, we're going to be double clicking on every single one of those montages. We're going to be going over to our asset detail. We're going to be typing in root, and then we're going to be enabling root motion to true on every single one of our rolling animations. Once we do that, we're going to be going back to our content browser. Then we're going to right click on all of those animations. We're actually going to be creating an animation montage. I'm not going to do it because I already made the montages. Then once you do that, we're going to be going over to edit. We're going to go to our project settings and then inside of our project settings, we're going to go to input. And then the next thing we're going to be doing, we're going to be clicking on this little icon right here and we're going to be creating an action mapping for row, which I'm going to be setting to space. We're going to be creating an action mapping for row four, which is going to be set to W, row back, which is going to be set to S, row left, which is going to be set to A, and then row right is going to be set to D. So once you finish setting up all the input action mappings, the next thing we're going to be doing, we're going to be going over to our third person character. Inside of our third person character, we're going to be making a bunch of different variables. So the first variable we are going to be generating is going to be a Boolean variable. In order to create a new Boolean variable, you just click on this little icon right here. And once you generate that Boolean variable, we're going to be naming that Boolean variable to row forward. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate that variable and I'm going to make a Boolean variable for row back, row left, row right, and is row button press. And then once I create that is row button press variable, I'm going to duplicate that variable again. And then what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to rename that variable into a row montage variable. And then for the variable type, what I want to do, I'm just going to go over here and I'm just going to type in montage. And then once I type in montage, I'm going to go ahead and select that and it's going to set that variable type to an anim montage. Then I'm going to duplicate that anim montage variable that I just created, which is going to be the row montage. And I'm going to duplicate it and then rename it to a high priority montage. So once I do that, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to scroll up to functions. I'm going to click on this icon right here. I'm going to create two brand new functions. I'm going to rename my functions to play high priority montage. And then I'm going to rename it to play low priority montage. So let me just explain to you what a high priority montage is versus a low priority montage. So high priority montages are basically montages that play over anything else inside of a game. As you see, if I try to sit there and roll, my character actually will play his attack animation first because my character has all his attack animations set to high priority montages and my roll animations inside of my hack and slash game are set to low priority montages. So that's pretty much the difference between a high priority montage versus a low priority montage. It just prioritizes playing the montages that are set to high priority first. So now let's take a look at the code inside of our high priority montage. So inside of our high priority montage code, basically what I have is I have input set to montage and then I have this variable set to animation montage. I have start selection name, I have this variable set to name, and then I have in play rate and I have this variable set to throat. And then I'm gonna be getting a reference to my mesh. From my mesh, I'm gonna be dragging off, I'm gonna be getting a reference to get anim instance. And then from there, from anim instance on the return value, I'm gonna be getting a reference to montage is playing. I'm gonna be creating a brand new branch variable. And then from my branch variable, I'm actually gonna be dragging in my, is my high priority montage variable and I'm gonna be setting my high priority montage variable. And then from there, I'm going to be creating a play in a montage and I'm just going to be hooking everything up. So basically montage goes over to is montage playing and then start selection name goes over to the start selection inside of our in a montage and then inside of play rate, we're going to be dragging from in play rate and just going to connect in it right here. And we're also going to be connecting our montage into this high priority montage and then we're going to be connecting this little node right here. So now let's take a look at our low priority montage. So inside of our low priority montage is pretty much everything's the same similar to our high priority montage. The only difference is that we're actually not going to be collecting this anim montage node up to our montage is playing node right here. So once we do that, the next thing we're going to be doing, is we're actually going to be clicking on this little icon right here and we're going to be creating a brand new macros. So basically inside of this macros, I just renamed it to rolling system. So now once you're inside of your rolling macro system, the first thing you want to do is you actually want to create a brand new branch variable. And from that branch variable, we're going to be connecting up a row four boolean bin to the condition. And then all for true, we're going to go ahead and we're going to drag in our row montage and I'm just going to click on set. And then basically once I set that montage, I'm going to click on this little drop down arrow right here. And I'm going to be setting this to my row front montage. Then once I do that, we're going to be dragging off and creating another branch variable. And then for the condition, we're going to connect up row right. And then from true, we're actually going to be setting our row right montage inside of our row right montage. And then from false, we're actually going to be sitting there creating another branch variable. And then um, for the condition, I'm going to be connecting up row left. And then off of true, we're going to set it to row left. Off of false, we're going to set it to row front. And then basically, we're going to be going back to our row front branch variable that we created. And then off of false, we're going to drag down. We're going to create another branch variable. I'm going to connect up the condition. It's going to be set to row back. Then off true, I'm going to set it to row back montage. 
I'm going to make another branch variable. I'm going to connect up the row right condition. And then basically off of true, I'm going to set it to row right. And then I'm off of false. I'm going to create another branch variable and I'm going to be sending it to row left. Off of true, it's going to be set to row left. And then off of false, it's going to be set to row back. So I'm going to be going all the way back to our row back branch variable that we created. And I'm going to drag off of false. I'm going to create another branch. And then for that condition, I'm going to connect the row left off of true. I'm going to be setting our row montage to row left. And then I'm going to be going back to that row left branch variable. I'm going to drag off false. I'm going to create another branch variable. And then for the condition, I'm going to set it to row right. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this montage for row right. And then once I do that, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to be dragging in my function. And I'm going to be setting up my low priority montage. And basically, I'm going to connect all my set nodes and I'm going to connect it directly into my low priority montage. And then the final thing I'm going to be doing, I'm actually going to be getting my row montage variable and I'm just going to drag it in. I'm going to get the variable and I'm basically going to connect this variable up to row montage. And then once you do that, the next thing you want to do, you want to make sure that you connect up your low priority montage to the output variable. Now, the final thing we need to do is we need to go over to our event graph. Inside of our event graph, we need to get a reference to our input action mapping row. And then from our input action mapping row, I'm going to be dragging off is row button press and I'm going to be setting it. And then off of press, I'm actually going to be setting it to true. And then off release, I'm going to set it to false. And then I'm going to drag in my macro for my rolling system. And if you don't see the in and out, basically what you want to do is you want to click on your macro and just want to click on this little icon right here and set up two new parameters and have them execute from E, I set it to in and then I set it out. Then once you do that, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to begin a reference to our row forward. We're going to be doing the same thing. We're going to be dragging in our row forward variable. For press, we're going to be setting it to true. For false or for release, we're going to be setting it to false. And then we're going to begin a reference to our row back. Same thing. We're going to be setting it to true. And then we're going to be setting it to false. Row left, it's going to be the same thing. We're going to be setting it to true on press. We're going to be setting it to false. And then row right is going to be the same thing as well. We're going to be setting it to true on press. And then we're going to be setting it to false. And that's basically how you make a directional rolling system inside our Unreal Engine. If you want to watch more Unreal tutorials, click on this little annotation that's going to pop on your screen that has a whole playlist for more Unreal Engine tutorials. And I'm going to see you guys on my next one.